Hello everyone. This video is for performers who are new to the Winnipeg Fringe Theatre Festival to help you prepare for the most important event, your tech rehearsal. Step 1. Go to the Performer Toolkit and find your venue plans and specs. The plans will tell you the spatial details of your assigned venue for the purposes of blocking your show in rehearsal. The specs will tell you what the plans can't. What are the refocusable lights or specials, a description of the lighting as hung, crossovers, entrances and exits, sound playback available, and where you have to go to load in. If what you need isn't listed, you have to provide it yourself, including any hookup or power cables or rigging stuff for things that will be hung from pipes. Check with Fringe Production to see if something is feasible. The Winnipeg Fringe Festival does not provide projectors. If you need a projector, there may be other groups in your venue also needing the same equipment and you can arrange to share a rental. Step 2. Prepare a script showing your lighting and sound cues and standbys, which lets your technician know when sound and lighting cues are about to happen. Prepare your sound cues in an appropriate playback form for your venue. Get your set, props, and costumes all ready to go and arrange transportation and a crew to bring everything to your venue. Step 3. Loading in. Get to the loading area 15 minutes before your tech time. You won't get in earlier because other groups are in there before you or the venue technicians may be on their break, but have everything ready to move. Once the venue technicians meet you at the door, bring your gear and people into the space quickly. Prior to your tech, you should have rehearsed your setup and strike in addition to your performance. Each person in the company should have a task to complete as part of their pre- and post-show duties. Most fringe venues are essentially a black box, a cube with black legs and borders which make rudimentary wings for entrances and exits. There will be a fixed lighting hang, as outlined in the specs, with certain lighting wash effects, like warm summer light, cool winter light, or cool night light. Step 4. Explain your cues clearly to your venue tech who will be helping you to achieve those looks, as well as learning your show during the tech rehearsal. While your stage manager and director are determining and teaching the venue technician the cues, the rest of your company should be setting things up on stage and backstage. Your venue tech will have given you a specially colored spike tape for you to mark where your stuff goes on stage. Once you have set your sound and lighting cues, if there is time, do a run with cues in place. Your ultimate goal is to have a good tech run of the whole show. Standby lights 6 through 7 and sound 6. Sound and lights. Sound 6 and lights 6. Go. Lights 7. Go. Step 5. Pack everything up and store it in the place that your venue tech shows you backstage. You will have 15 minutes at the end of your tech rehearsal to do this, which is what you will have after each performance. And that's it. Now here are some answers to some common questions. When do we show up to do our show? You show up 30 minutes before showtime. What's with that 45 minutes between shows? 15 minutes for the previous show to strike and audience to leave. 15 minutes for you to set up and 15 minutes for your audience to come in. Can you use liquids including blood? Yes, if you clean up and dry the floor thoroughly afterwards. How about breakaway glass or china? No. Balloons? Also no, as some people have latex allergies. Same with peanuts or peanut butter. Herbal cigarettes? Most venues discourage any smoking products, so get a fake cigarette or an e-cigarette. We're at the MTC warehouse, and as you can see, we're setting up venue six, and we're just going to go through uh, stage directions with you guys. So when you're doing your lighting design, you and the tech are on the same page and talking about the same area of the stage. So right now, I am down center. Downstage, you're coming down to the audience. When you're going upstage, you're going away. So that's upstage. And this is up right. So now I am down right. Down left. I am up left. Up center stage. So those are your stage directions.
There's tons of really useful information on our Performer Toolkit online, including a handy FAQ page, which we try to keep updated as we get more inquiries. If you have specific questions to your show or venue, please contact us. Thank you for watching. Happy fringing.